Hey guys, I'm back with another video. It is day one of three day reserve block. It's day one, and guess what I got? Airport appreciation, so much fun. So much fun. If you guys haven't noticed, I have new hair. Actually, I'm really excited though, because I got some new hair. Shout out to Beauty Forever. Making four bundles of their 22 inch Malaysian curly hair. It's so pretty, I'm loving it. I just did like a half up, half down thing because I was kind of just sick of um, having it all over my head, which it kind of is still all over my head, but it's just like out my face. So I'm loving it. Hopefully I get a trip because I'm missing out on a lot today. Um, it's Gigi's birthday and they're having a celebration for her and it's also the night of Tiana Taylor's concert that I'd much rather be at than sit at the airport decorating the lounge. But that's the life of a flight attendant. Mm. Gonna look so happy. Before I get to the airport, I need to get something to eat. Definitely needs to get something to eat because I'm hungry. But I'll see you guys in a little bit because I'll be at the airport. I'm gonna sit in the lounge and I'm gonna edit video. And hopefully, it's someone else there with me because my airport standby is gonna be from 5:50 p.m. to 10:50 p.m. If um, they don't call. So I made it to the airport. I'm currently on airport standby. I'm gonna get, edit some of these vlogs because <clears throat> my subscribers are low key. <laughs> like mad at me because I haven't posted like I should but it's okay guys I totally understand I'm so sorry but I have a life outside of flight attending so yeah but I'm sitting on airport standby I'm gonna keep you guys as posted as possible but um just clocked in so we'll see if scheduling has something for me hopefully they do because if not I'm gonna be really sad that I missed out on this concert tonight and my cousin's birthday party so just to keep you guys updated I am still on airport standby with about an hour and a half left um, scheduling has not used me, obviously. A co-worker just came in here and said that someone stole, well, took the wrong bag off the plane. So like now his bag is like in Vegas and he's here and he doesn't have anything. Like someone walked off the plane with his luggage. I'm like, I don't know what I do in that situation. Like it honestly sucks. And he said that his medication was in his bag. So like he needs it and he's still at work. I'm just like, oh my goodness. I'm just like I feel so bad. I'm like I honestly don't know what I do in that situation. Like that is so scary. But we are waiting to be done so I can go home and I guess start again tomorrow. If I get released tonight, then I'll be on call tomorrow at 10:50 a.m., which is cool. But I really wanted to um, get used today so that I don't have to like drive back to the airport tomorrow. And I could have went to the concert and to Gigi's birthday party, so I'm a little annoyed, but whatever. The life of a flight attendant. Good morning, y'all. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't she supposed to be at home? Yes. <laughs> but no, so literally an hour left of airport standby, scheduling calls and gives myself and the other airport standby that was there up until 2.50, a trip. We did headed to Nashville. We have about 17 hours in Nashville. And then today we go from Nashville, I believe, to Seattle, which is like a five hour flight, and then Seattle to Denver. And then we were supposed to have like 10 hours in Nashville, oh, I'm sorry, 10 hours in Denver. But we're super delayed, so now overnight is trickling down um, to like almost eight hours. And then we're supposed to deadhead tomorrow, so we'll see if that stays the same. But good morning from Nashville. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let me show you guys my view. I feel like this is the same view that I had last time because I remember seeing that restaurant and I remember seeing this restaurant over here that I actually went to, Wild Eggs. And literally every time I'm in Nashville, it's raining. What is going on? It's always raining. Look at the clouds. But what I'm about to do is um, change my clothes and run downstairs and get breakfast because I'm hungry. I ate last night. What did I eat last night? I had a black bean burger that was really different because normally when I order black bean burgers, they taste like meat. But this time it tastes like a bunch of mushed meat. I don't think they, a bunch of mushed beans. I don't think that they um, cooked it as long as they could have or should have. So um, yeah, I didn't eat much of it, but I ate enough. I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna go downstairs. We get 40% off at this hotel. And y'all, I just found $10 in my pocket look ain't got good Let me do it. all right so now i'm heading downstairs i have like 
like 10 minutes until breakfast is over, but I'm trucking it downstairs so that I can eat. Um, I tried calling downstairs to confirm that 10 a.m. Um, breakfast was over, but nobody was answering. <laughs> so, fingers crossed that breakfast is over at 10 and not 9.30, because then I'd be pissed. But, good morning. Damn, I'm so happy I found $10. I'm checking my pocket, cleaning it out. I found a receipt. I was about to throw the receipt away, and I was like, oh, that's green. That's money. I'm like, turn up. Love finding money. That's always a blessing. But, all right, I need to charge my phone. I didn't charge it last night, and it's like on 19%. So, I'm kind of SOL for a minute. I didn't put on any earrings because I'm literally rushing so that I can get downstairs. You guys, I just finished breakfast, and my server, Edward, who is super amazing, shout out to you. Um, he actually gave me free breakfast. That was so sweet, but I left him a really nice tip, so. Because he was so nice, he was so generous. Like, he was, um, we were just talking and just having a good time. Super sweet man, didn't even know me, but he was just so nice, and I loved, like, all of that energy. That is such a great way to start off the morning, so shout out to you, Edward. I do appreciate it and I'll definitely let you know when the applications open for my airline but I'm back in my hotel room I am thinking about um what am I thinking about doing well I know I need to charge my phone can't charge it in the bathroom because the outlets <clears throat> the outlet in the bathroom doesn't work and I honestly do think this is my hotel room from last time because I remember that same situation like I remember the outlets not working in my last room so yeah, but I'm gonna charge my phone and I think I'm just gonna relax until I have to start getting ready. Sorry for the poor view, but um, the sunlight was coming in weird. But everyone was so nice downstairs. It was so amazing. Like I had the best breakfast, but I'm about to relax and I'll see you guys probably when I'm getting dressed or when I'm heading downstairs for work. All right guys, I'm all dressed, headed, ready to head to work. I'm just trying to get as much juice on my phone as I can. It's at like 50%, but I want it at 100%, but I only have like 10 more minutes, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to get to 100, but I have a very, 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 very long flight all the way over to Seattle, and I want my battery to last, but when it's on airplane mode, it pretty much does last, but oh my God, let me show you guys this. My fingers in there. That means my uniform is going to bust open. <laughs> Oh my God, look at that. But oh my God, look at this. That's like a hole in my dress. What am I gonna do? Good thing I bring two uniforms just in case because you never know what can happen on a trip. You always bring extra. But um, yeah, so I need to go ahead and get that fixed when I'm home again. But this weekend is gonna be so much fun. I have so much planned. Saturday, my friend is having an event. I told her I'll come and show up. Oh my god, y'all, I'm feeling this hair. Come on, Beauty Forever, come through with the bundles. It's so cute. All right, let me stop playing around, put on my sweater and my shoes. Made it on board, guys. We just got word that the flight is going to be four hours and 20 minutes all the way over to Seattle. Ooh, that's a long call. We got our snacks for our passengers, and we are almost ready to board. Um, I'm going to check my equipment. I am going to put my stuff up and then we're going to board and head on up to Seattle. We're all done. We're in Denver and we're now waiting on the shuttle with our nine hour overnight. We are tired, but we're deadheading tomorrow, supposedly, you know, get to the airport or something else. But we'll see. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to eat some food when I get to the hotel or am I going to wait until the morning? I don't know, but Ashley just wants her bed. We've worked a 10 hour duty day. Like, it's time to go to sleep. Like, I'm tired. I'm ready to go. It smells like cigarettes. So I'm here and I'm annoyed, ready to go. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty in my room because I love this branch of hotels. So, I'm gonna show you really fast because I only have a nine hour layover. But I do wanna show you guys my room. And I'm trying to think if I even showed you guys my room yesterday. But it's okay. I'm gonna show you today. So, these are really neat. And look, y'all, I got me a robe that I'm about to put on and be cute. Real fancy. And this is the closet. And then here we have the bathroom. Beautiful mirror. And then we have another robe. Oh, y'all better show out. Too bad. I'm telling you, literally, every time I have the shortest overnights, 
I have the best hotel. It's like it sucks. Two beds. I'm gonna turn on this light. Oh, fancy. And then chill out area. And I believe my view is of the airport or maybe a airport parking lot. Yeah, nothing fancy because this is the airport hotel, but it's okay. It's okay, we're not here for too long. So I'm gonna close these blinds because I feel like it's really easy to see up here. And we don't want that. So yeah, we're gonna close that. But oh my God. So we had a four hour and 50 minute flight from Nashville to Seattle. And then we had a two hour flight from Seattle to Denver. And then we're supposed to deadhead tomorrow to Chicago. But the flight from Denver to Chicago, they're missing a, um, a flight attendant. And because between the two of us that got the trip, she's more senior than me. So I'll most likely get it. If not, a Denver reserve will get it. But I keep checking and they have yet to place someone on there. I really hope this deadhead stays the same because fly to Chicago on a deadhead and then be released. That would be amazing. I'm supposed to be done around like 1 p.m. 1, 1 30 p.m. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I got a lot of stuff to do. I still need to go shopping for this weekend. I need to pack my bag for this weekend. I need to finish editing the London vlog. Like I'm, I'm so busy. Like anybody wants, anybody looking for work? Anybody want to be my assistant? Something? I don't know, y'all. I'm just so tired. But it's weird because yesterday I had a dead hit, and then today I had to. Granted, I worked almost an 11-hour day today, so we've been busy. We've been really busy. But I'm gonna start. Stop. Not start. Stop ranting and going on about nothing. Good morning. Um, I'm in Denver. We are about to head to the airport. I have like five minutes to be downstairs, but it's okay because that's pretty much what I always do. And also, we're super close to um the airport so that is fine i need to stop and get breakfast as of now i am still dead heading to chicago i don't know what scheduling will do to me once i get to chicago but as of now my deadhead is still the same um hopefully i can get released if i get released i'll be released around 1 40 p.m and that gives me a lot of time to do something on this beautiful tuesday um i want to edit the rest of these vlogs for you i told you guys that i have a lot of plans this weekend so i have to prep for that um it's just a lot and I can use like all the time I can get. So if scheduling releases me, that would be amazing. Amazing, amazing. But I'm gonna buckle my shoe and head on downstairs to meet Melinda and I'll see you guys when I get there. So I'm back in Chicago and I'm back in the lounge. I'm getting ready because <laughs> wonderful scheduling added to my trip. <laughs> Letting Ashley go at, what time is it? One p.m. was too good to be true, so they added a turn. I go from I work a flight from Chicago to Cincinnati, which is like an hour, and then I did head back home to Chicago because they have to get me home tonight because it's day three. Thank God it's day three, but it is okay. All right, you guys, I'm super early. I made it on board. I don't even know who my crew is. <laughs> um, apparently, we're already gonna take another delay because of the lab. The toilet button doesn't work so now we have to have maintenance to come and look at that um i'm just like it's a 45 minute flight and we're having a delay just want to get to cincinnati and get home Jordan, say hey, Jordan. <laughs> Such a pleasure meeting you. Give me another hug. Oh. 